Hello. Today's topic is the Enterprise Data Warehouse. This is one of the components of SAP Business Intelligence that is very vital to the inner workings of the system. This lesson will give you an overview of the basic functions of the Data Warehouse and explain the terms that you will be using in your daily activities as a Business Intelligence Consultant. So let's get started. In the previous lesson, I talked about the SAP BI components, which are the data warehouse, the business intelligence platform, and the business explorer. Today, I am going to be focusing on the data warehouse, which is the entry point into any BI system. As I said earlier, I shall be going through an overview of the major components of the data warehouse, describe the basic functions of the data warehouse, and also get to know more about the terms used. So now let's start. There are three major activities carried out by the data warehouse, and those are loading, cleansing, and management of data. So what does loading do? Loading has to do with extracting data from multiple sources into the BI system. We can get data from SAP systems and also non-SAP systems as well, like databases and files, for example. All these sources contain data that is used for reporting purposes. The data that is imported might not be of good quality actually most of the time. So then we have actually a cleansing stage in between. We use this stage to remove redundancies in the data and also perform aggregation by packaging the information we need and then compressing it. The last step is management of the data. After cleansing, the information has to be stored in an optimized format so the reports run from it will be generated quickly. In SAP, Data is stored in a star schema, in which we'll be going into further detail in a later lesson. After this, the data is prepared for reporting. So those are the three main tasks of data warehousing. So what are the needs actually of the same data warehouse? What are the features and what are the issues that we're trying to solve in this case? First and foremost, one of the features is that data is stored in an optimized data structures called cubes. We shall talk about info cubes in a later lesson. But the main purpose of this is to be able to retrieve the information in the warehouse more efficiently. SAP does not work on the same servers as the normal operating software does. We saw that in the ONAP versus OLTP video. Business intelligence needs dedicated OLAP servers so that it can do its work more efficiently. So normally you would have an SAP ERP system with a business intelligence server beside it all running on the same technology platform called SAP NetWeaver. This is the common landscape of an SAP system. Not necessarily the only one, but the most common. And as I said, the main reason is to be able to perform online analytical processing on huge amounts of data. We are going into the terabyte range here. This is not child's play. So up next is the components of the data warehouse. There are two major ones. The first one is the data acquisition layer. Its job is to extract data from external sources and temporarily host the data before it is now cleansed and transformed into BI cubes by the BI server. The BI server is the main host of the information that is used for reporting. So if we go back to this picture I had earlier of the BI components, you will see that I have actually done some discussion not only about the data warehouse but also about the BI platform which is also referred to as the BI server. So the data warehouse and the BI server combine to implement the extraction, cleansing, managing and preparation of information for reporting. So coming back to this picture of the data warehousing components, I said we have two parts, that is the BI server and the data acquisition layer. So let us go into one step of detail on the data acquisition layer. The DEL consists of a persistent storage area, which is normally called PSA in the BI circles that is used to temporarily host data that is coming from the source system. The sources could either be SQL Server databases, Oracle databases, web servers, XML files, web services, and also SAP systems, SAP ERP systems. All these are possible ways to get data into SAP Business Intelligence. So there you have it. Those are the main things which you would need to know about data warehousing. So we spoke about the three main tasks the first one which is loading second which is cleansing and then the third which is management of data 
and I also spoke about the data being saved in optimized data structures called cubes. SAP Business Intelligence is implemented on separate dedicated servers typically and also it is used to process huge amounts of data using online analytical processing. And then I talked about the components of the data warehouse being the BI server and then the data acquisition layer. In the next lessons, we'll talk about the data warehouse and workbench, which is the user interface used to administer and maintain the data warehouse and get some screen videos on to see how it actually looks like. So thank you for listening. See you in the next video.